Multi-instrumentalist and singer Nikki Toll is half Greek and half German, but 100% Nigerian at heart. In 2015, he paid his very first visit to the country to meet with his fans and hook up with celebrities. Well, in 2016, he came back to perform as an artist. Let's see how that went down. The story of Nikki Toll's rise to fame can be likened to a fairy tale. The half-German, half-Greek artist whose love for Afrobeats, particularly Nigerian music, came to the spotlight when he published a cover of Nigerian established act, Nice's song, Gongwaso, over the internet. Once when I started doing Nigerian music, the first cover was Gongwaso, which was in 2008, and the song was by Nice, so Nice is even till now one of my biggest idols, is my biggest idol in the Nigerian music market. Ever since he has gone ahead to record other covers of popular Nigerian songs, taking his music career further by playing out as a DJ in his free time when he's not working as a chemical technician or as a kickboxer. Before, before I used to be a sportsman, you know, I'm, I'm a kickboxer back in Germany and uh, so this is actually another part of my life that I've done. I always, my life is always like work, sleep, sport, music. That's, that's, that's how I try to organize my uh, life. So while here in Nigeria, you know, this um, definitely I have to spend a visit to Nigeria without letting the social media know that I'm around because this time when I came, I was so busy with running from interview to interview and from TV station to TV station. What I did in these eight days when I was here, normally a normal person I think would do this in, in one month. So this was very, very, very stressful time and I could not really enjoy Nigeria from his good sides, you know, there were so many people I had to leave them disappointed. They wanted to invite me for uh, visit me at the beach, let's do this, let's eat cutfish somewhere here and uh, let's party here tonight. And I could say, no, I don't got time, I have to be there and then there. So definitely there are a lot of things that I need to see and need to do to feel Nigeria more from, from the tourists, from the good sides. He has also put out a number of his own personal songs and says that the reception to his music by the Nigerian audience has been positively overwhelming. Right now the direction of my career is, uh, I'm used to being known for being a cover artist for Nigerian songs, but right now I have already come out on the, with my own songs, you know, to let the people know, okay, where's the direction going? This guy is not singing other people's songs for the rest of his life, because I'm a producer, I'm a musician on my own himself back in Germany. So uh, I released one single at the beginning of 2016 in January, which was like a warm-up uh, single, this Why You Did Do Me So song. Then I released another single immediately before I came to Nigeria, which is produced 100% by myself. So um, the work that I've done was uh, like a CD with nine, uh, with nine songs. Uh, includes my covers, what I've done so far, plus the, my own songs that I've done so far. Just to make a cut right now, to let people know, okay, this is what I have recorded so far. So in between those, after I left last time in Nigeria, I had a lot of invitations to a lot of live performances because this uh, visit to Nigeria made me really expose me to the market even in Europe. After I came back from here, it was like, whoa, this guy has been on all those radio shows and all those TV shows. Uh, there must be something about this guy that we have to bring him. So um, my own, uh, let me say, my own value has risen a lot after I, my first visit to Nigeria because this was actually the step that made my career be taken more serious from people. So this is what happened during the year. So I said right now, okay, right now is the right time to visit, to go back to Nigeria and appear on a, on a big stage to be present for my followers, for my fans. <laughs> Actually, I was very excited to come to Nigeria because what I have done on social media before, um, let me say, I always pay a lot of attention to my comments and I'm very close to my own fan base and to my own people um, that I keep sharing my videos, watching my videos. So I always listen what they say, you know, and uh, try to have a very close connection to them. 
So uh, I was very excited to go to Nigeria to feel the reality of what I had on social media. And uh, when I came to this uh, country this time, I really, it was even over, you know, over my expectations. So uh, it was an amazing feeling to be here. And, and the end of the day, when you're doing something from abroad and you're doing something for so many years, for so long, and then at the end of the day, one day you'll come here and everything is, is more than real, you know, then uh, this, this feeling is indescribable. It's, it's, it's totally... On the second visit to Nigeria, he's performed at different events, including Adebantu's popular Afropolitan Vibes concert, and experience he says he wished had never ended. Are you ready now? Okay. One more time, go! Hey! Don't pass up, go to Pau. Chi! And if I did, I'm done pass up, go to Pau. Hey! And it's all good, I just be on your line. Oh, yeah, she be my baby, come, I'm in double now. I hear love, I hear you, come, come, what's up? Actually, the Afropolitan Vibes concert was the one that was the major event where I came for on this visit. And um, me and uh, Adebantu, the owner of the event, uh, we planned this very, very long time ago. And uh, once when I came to Nigeria for this event, the promotion was already so massive and a lot of people have been waiting for me on this event, actually one of my own fans. So at least a lot of people in the crowd were actually waiting for me. And this is uh, by the time when I this was one of the most exciting moments in my career so far, you know, performing on Nigerian ground after I did something for so many years. To get so close to people that have been following me for so much and see me appearing on that stage. So the whole concert was a live concert with a live band and it was, I think, the greatest day of my life. That's what I wrote on social media. Because to have a people, to have musicians like 12 musicians behind your back and a crowd more than 1,000 people in front of you, under the sky of Africa, this is... It was an indescribable feeling. It was something like, I wish that moment would have never ended my life, you know, to be on that stage. And uh, after I finished the first song, uh, Congwaso, after we finished the last um, chorus, I was just waiting, okay, what's going to happen right now? And the audience went crazy with uh, applause, you know, and uh, it, was, it was an amazing feeling. So after that, we dropped the other two songs that I performed on that day. And uh, it actually felt less than one second altogether where I was standing on the stage because I could not even realize what was going on. It was such an excitement feeling. And so uh, it could not be better than the way it was. Everybody gonna like him. Tell him, tell him the audio bubble on the bright pan. Pass me your love or pass me your day. The girls from my girl, them they do me crazy, crazy. Make it all in ever lazy. More for than a cheer for my people don't they hear me. I like that silly whoosh, fucking shaggy thing, but boy, cause the gala la, the gala la, the gala la. He's begun looking towards collaborations with other Nigerian artists, naming singers Nice, Orish Femi, and Kiss Daniel as three of his top choice list. Well, this is this is actually the next step that, that that's going to happen in my career. Um, we are working on it and uh, all, definitely all those artists I have done some covers from. Uh, those are the artists like Orisha Femi, Kiss Daniel, even uh, Nice. Well, he's back to the music right now and uh, so I think maybe hopefully he gets the time to do a collaboration with me one time. We already planned and uh, discussed about it. It's definitely going to happen. But there are so many more Nigerian artists that I have already been the warm-up act for during my, um, during my career. So there are a lot of people to work with and it's just a question of time till those things are going to happen step by step. He says he would consider relocating to Nigeria once he is certain about the niche he has built for himself among the Nigerian music audience. Um, music is something you have to come up fully. You can't just do music by the side. What many people don't know besides what they see on social media and all that is that I work full time back in Germany. You know, I'm a chemical technician in my first life next to Nikitol. So all those things what people see on social media, uh, it's only possible for me to do all those things because I don't sleep. <laughs> you know, I squeeze my time so much to follow this dream and follow this um, vision. Um, but if God really wants me to become a musician down here in Nigeria and he really endorsed me big time with any big hit song in the next so that will really make me think about okay coming down to Nigeria to be more close to the market uh, then I definitely have to go for it. Although he's yet to fully enjoy the beauty of Nigeria from a tourist perspective the pounded yam and the goosey soup lover intends to return to Nigeria plainly as Nicholas Joe Jackis. <laughs>